Hi, I'm Patty Mercer with New Day Productions, and with me today is a very, um, actually, I'm the guest in the free store. Welcome, Robert Corker. How Thanks. are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Glad to have you guys here. Well, it is such an honor to be here because this is the first time I've ever been in the free store okay. and very interested if you could explain this concept. Sure. The idea of the, of the free store came about about two and a half years ago um, with my brother-in-law and myself. We, um, there was a, a space down here in this neighborhood that had a building where people dropped off donations, but it wasn't really organized. Um, nobody was really kind of keeping an eye on it. We were looking for a different type of ministry, and so we sort of seized upon the idea of taking this idea of the free store. You can bring what you want and take what you need. So regardless of whether you have a job or you're jobless or whether you have a home or you're homeless, mm -hmm. you can bring things and you can take things. Wow. And you don't have to qualify for it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to show an ID. There's no limit on what you can take or what you can bring. We truly wanted it to be a free store. And if there was something that the store had that you could use, you were welcome to. Wow. Now, you know, you talk about a free store, and yet it's located in a house. In fact, the very first impression I had as I drove by was this very uh, welcoming front yard where there was activity, there was energy, it seemed like people just relating to each other and talking, and it wasn't anything like I expected uh, a donation center or a free store to look like. Can you tell me and, and tell our viewers a little bit about um, you know, how it is different. Sure. That's the other aspect of the free store. When we decided we wanted to put this together, we wanted to be more than just about stuff. Mm -hmm. um, everybody has stuff. Oh, yeah. um, there's lots of places around Charlotte, lots of agencies where if you need stuff, you can go get stuff. We wanted something that was very relational. And mm -hmm. so we have clothes and shoes and toothbrushes and toothpaste and socks and books and some things like that as a way to draw people in. Mm -hmm. But what we really want to be about is relationships. Mm -hmm. We want the free store to be relationship driven. We've got a front porch. We've always got a pot of coffee on. We want it to be a safe place where people can come together, build relationships with one another, regardless of where they came from or where they're from. And Robert was sharing with me earlier, you know, in those relationships, you learn what those needs are, whether it's clothing or whether it's specific to even a size shoe um, that someone's looking for, or maybe some legal counsel. That's exactly right. Sheila, the lady that basically runs the free store and is responsible for making everything happen, she has a unique ability to balance being organized and keeping the store where people can find things, but she also has a heart for the people that come in. And if somebody comes in, they're looking for something particular, and we don't happen to have it, she'll write down their information and what they're looking for, and she'll keep an eye on it. And when we get it, she'll set it aside and make contact with the person that they have. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. That, that's awesome. I mean, that everyone benefits that's correct. Um, with that opportunity. Now, I had asked you, too, about how someone could get involved, and I loved your answer. Okay. Get involved. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay. <laughs> to, to, to be involved with the free store is more about being than it is doing. We have lots of people who call up, and ask, hey, can we come down and help out? Can we come down and volunteer and do something? And our response is, we don't have a lot to do, but there are a lot of people down here that you could build relationships with. Mm -hmm. Come down, hang out, and just be for a while. Mm -hmm. Find somebody, strike up a conversation with them, get to know them, let them get to know you, and just build relationships with them. Yeah, so if you wanted to bring some Hot dogs and absolutely have we a always, cookout. We always like to eat down at the free store. It's great. <laughs> and the idea is we want, you know, we don't have a one or three or five or ten year plan for how we want the free store to grow. We want it to grow organically or naturally. For instance, we have a, a school teacher that started hanging out and getting involved. She built a relationship with somebody who was wanting to get his GED. Mm -hmm. 
And so she started coming down twice a week and tutoring him. Now, we can't build that into a one or three or five year plan about what we want the free store to be. So regardless of what your vocation is or your skill set is, come hang out, get to know somebody. And then if there's a connection you can make, something that you can do to further that connection, that's what we encourage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love that. It's really all about relationships. And in fact, one of the things that we're going to be talking about as well is a benefits concert yes. coming up, which again, the concept, the idea, rolling into an action plan is a relationship. It is. The idea of the, of the concert is we wanted a fun event where people could come together. We've tried to get various genres of music because again we want people coming together that enjoy different types of music um, we have some hip-hop we have a Mexican ska band we have rock and roll we have alternative rock and roll all these different genres because again we want to draw people together we don't like the idea of people always being centered we segregate ourselves um, by race too often. We segregate ourselves financially. You know, if you make a certain amount of money, you live in this neighborhood. And if you make less, you live in this neighborhood. We don't like the idea of that. We like to bring people together. So um, the, the concert is to raise funds for a couple of local charities, the Free Store and Samaritan's Feet. Mm -hmm. But we're also promoting a lot of local area bands because, again, we want to bring people together and celebrate some of the music that's in Charlotte. I love that, you know, because uh, not only do you have the opportunity to take from the free store what you need, but you take so much more than that. You take a message of hope. It's uplifting. It's nice to talk to people who maybe have been there and are doing better now. It's awesome to see artwork on the wall yes. from someone that um, has a talent and maybe this is the first time that they've really had an opportunity to share their talent with That's others. Right. So it really is, it comes down to that bottom denominator that we're all people here to help each other. Robert, thank you so much. The thank Benefits concert much. is happening September 17th. September 17th at the North Carolina Music Factory. Gates open about 3 o'clock, and we're going to go till about midnight. Yes, so come on out, enjoy the local bands, have a great time, and know that you're helping two very worthy causes, the Free Store and Samaritan's Feet. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay.